Davri Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 21. And Satan stood up against Yashadael and provoked Eth David to number Eth Yashadael. And David said to Yoav and to the rulers of the people, Go, number Eth Yashadael from Be'er Shiva, even to Dan, and bring Eth the number of them to me, that I may know it. And Yoav answered, Yahweh make his people a hundred times so many more as they be. But, my lord the king, are they not all my lord's servants? Why then does my lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Yashadael? Nevertheless, the king's word prevailed against Yoav. Wherefore Yoav departed and went throughout all Yashadael, and came to Yerushalayim. And Yoav gave Eth the sum of the number of the people unto David. And all they of Yashadael were a thousand thousand and a hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Yahuda was four hundred threescore and ten thousand men that drew sword. But Levi and Binyamin counted he not among them, for the king's word was abominable eth to Yoav. And Elohim was displeased with this thing, therefore he smote eth Yashadael. And David said unto Elohim, I have sinned greatly, because I have done at this thing, but now I beseech you, do away at the iniquity of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. And Yahweh spoke unto Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, I offer you three things. Choose one of them, that I may do it unto you. So Gad came to David and said unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Choose you either three years of famine, or three months to be destroyed before your foes, while that the sword of your enemies overtakes you, or else three days the sword of Yahuwah, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of Yahuwah, destroying throughout all the coasts of Yashadael. Now therefore advise yourself, what word shall I bring again to him that, rather him eth, that sent me? And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of Yahuwah, for very great are his mercies, but let me not fall into the hand of man. So Yahuwah sent pestilence upon Yashadael, and there fell of Yashadael seventy thousand men. And Elohim sent an angel unto Yerushalayim to destroy it. And as he was destroying, Yahuwah beheld, and he repented of the evil, and said to the angel that, that destroyed, It is enough, stay now your hand. And the angel of Yahuwah stood by the threshing floor of Ornan the Yavusi. And David lifted up at his eyes, and saw at the angel of Yahuwah stand between the earth and the heavens having a drawn sword in his hand, stretched out over Yerushalayim. Then David and the elders of Yashadael, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. And David said unto Elohim, It is not that I commanded the people to be numbered. Rather, is it not that I commanded the people to be numbered? Even I, it is that, have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let your hand, I pray you, O Yahweh Elohai, be on me and on my father's house, but not on your people, that they should be plagued. Then the angel of Yahweh commanded Gad to say to David that David should go up and set up an altar unto Yahweh in the threshing floor of Ornan the Yavusi. 
And David went up at the saying of Gad, which he spoke in the name of Yahweh. And Onan turned back and saw at the angel, and his four sons with him hid themselves. Now Ornan was threshing wheat. And as David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw at David, and went out of the threshing floor, and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Ornan, Grant me the place of this threshing floor, that I may build an altar therein unto Yahweh. You shall grant it me for the full price, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Ornan said unto David, Take it to you, and let my lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. Lo, I give you the oxen also for burnt offerings, and the and the threshing instruments for wood, and the wheat for the meat offering. I give it all. And King David said, un, said to Ornan, Nay, but I will truly buy it for the full price, for I will not take that which is yours for Yahweh, nor offer burnt offerings without cost. So David gave to Ornan the place six hundred shekels of gold by weight. And David built there an altar unto Yahweh, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon El Yahweh. And he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of burnt offering. And Yahuwah commanded the angel, and he put up his sword again into the sheath thereof. At that time when David saw that Yahuwah had answered him in the threshing floor of Ornan the Yevusi, then he sacrificed there. For the tabernacle of Yahuwah, which Moshe made in the wilderness, and the altar of the burnt offering, were at that season in the high place at Givan. But David could not go before it to inquire of Elohim, for he was afraid because of the sword of the angel of Yahuwah.